So now we're going to explain the accelerator concept in a bit more detail. Uh, the accelerator concept is one of the most important tools in Alpaca because it hides the hardware specifics behind Alpaca's abstract API. As we have seen in the last slide set, this is chosen by the programmer. So you just have to uh, introduce the, this type dev somewhere in the beginning of your code. And this uh, concept is used on both the host and the device. Inside the kernel, this is an actual uh, object which contains the thread state and also provides access to Alpaca's device side API. On the host, this is just a template meter parameter for choosing the correct physical device and all the dependent types that go, uh, get along with that. In short, this concept is an abstraction of concrete devices and also the concrete programming models. So the programmer just changes the accelerator in one line of code. For example, if you choose an OpenMP accelerator, the, all the following device side operations will run on CPUs and the inherent parallelism is provided by OpenMP. If you choose uh, the HIP accelerator, for example, the kernels will run on both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs and uh, the actual parallelism is provided by HIP. So this means that just by one changing one line of code, there is an entirely different code path for the new device chosen in the background. Also, the accelerator provides portable access to device-specific functions. For example, the accelerator enables you to navigate the grid, as we've seen in, uh, yesterday. So uh, through the accelerator, you can get access to the index and extend functions. The accelerator also gives you access to the shared memory layer for uh, threads inside the same block. So you can allocate a variable in static memory and also allocate shared memory beforehand as you would in CUDA, for example, which uh, you can also query with Alpaca. Alpaca also enables you uh, to synchronize your threads on the block level. There's uh, a sync block threads command, which will just synchronize all threads within the block. And then there's the sync block threads predicate command, which will also synchronize all threads and then evaluate a predicate given by the programmer afterwards. Internally, this accelerator maps all device side functions to the native counterparts. Some other device side functions that are good to know uh, also require the accelerator as their first argument. This is true for math functions, as we've seen yesterday. This is true for atomic operations. There you provide both the accelerator, the parameters you want to work on, and in the end, a hierarchy. So you can define if your atomic should work uh, on the entire grid or just inside the block or the threads. Then we have, uh, for some backends, random number generation, with, uh, which is also a device-specific function and which can be called inside the kernel. And we also have some rudimentary uh, function to measure time, which will just give you back the clock cycles, but it's a way to measure time inside the kernel. Are there any questions to this part? Hi, I have a couple of questions. This is Drabachi speaking. Hi. Um, <clears throat> what kind of, is it possible to use uh, multiple accelerators in the same uh, code base and choosing them at runtime? Uh, yes, we'll get to that in a later session. Okay. Yeah, and uh, just, uh, yeah. sorry, just to clarify a little bit. It is possible, however, uh, like accelerator is a compile time thing, right? So if you want as the same binary to be able to use multiple accelerators, that's possible, but it will need to instantiate the kernels and everything for all of them, right? So, so, so then, let's say in terms of compile time, they will like compile for everything that, and then at the time you could choose like to launch one kernel or the other. Okay, thank you. And then, based on this answer as well. Uh, if I use, if I compile for multiple accelerators that share the same backend, like TDB or a serial CPU uh, backend accelerator, um, can I share resources like memory between them or they end up being completely different types? 
Uh, but what do you mean that they share the same backend? Like different accelerators represent different backends, right? So they could. Um, so it is possible like that you run, for example, accelerator for OpenMP two and accelerator for TVB, and uh, like tasks from to, submitted to both devices will be actually the same physical device. So that is possible. Of course. What I was wondering is, uh, since I end up templating everything on the accelerator and you just showed us what's the memory access for memory routines, for example. Can I use memory that I allocated for on the TDB accelerator or ah, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, serial sorry. CPU? So exactly, exactly. Uh, the thing is that if you don't, while accelerator is the like more generic, like most let's say high level accessor to Alpaca, uh, not everything is uh, specialized with accelerator. For example, memory buffers, as you noticed, uh, like in your example, memory buffers are templatized by device type. And so both the TVB accelerator as a, and the OpenMP2 accelerator will have the same device type CPU. So the buffer type will be actually exactly the same, for both of them. And so there is no problem whatsoever to share. You could just pass one buffer to, to another kernel that you don't need to do anything there. Okay, thank you very much. But um, um, to, um, to, to uh, uh, stress a point, which is also in, in the uh, uh, Google Docs sheet, um, we have currently in Alpaca no concept for unified memory. So you have in Alpaca currently no function where you can ask uh, if this pointer can be accessed uh, or is equal or, or in the same platform than another special pointer or something like that to compare if you can really access it. Uh, currently, you need to take care as user uh, about that, and uh, you need to know uh, uh, that, for example, the OpenMP backend uh, accelerator is using the platform CPU, and also the sequence, sequential backend is also using uh, the platform CPU. And so, so you are allowed to uh, access both memories from the same accelerator. Uh, we are working on on integrating unified memory concepts into Alpaca, and then uh, we will definitely also have uh, an API function where you can can ask uh, if if you can access a special memory from a, a given accelerator or something like that. But that is currently ongoing work. 